gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, got a little brief bit of information on the voluntary non-individual bankruptcy filing. Brief information. Uh, some people are new to watching the videos I produce. And those new booties, that's what I call them. I call them new booties. They're booties, all right. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, those individuals, see, voluntary petition for non-individual filing for bankruptcy. Ladies and gentlemen, that's this document right here. Now, I want y'all to pay attention. Y'all paying attention? Y'all should pay attention. That ain't got nothing to do with y'all on the screen, so don't even worry about that. It says, it's blocked. Y'all can't be blocking. Uh-uh. There is no blocking in this agency. No, we don't block things, so y'all just can't do that. Sorry. I am um, setting up the microphone. I'm setting up my microphone. Says my sound system doesn't appreciate my setting up the microphone. You know, I almost forgot about our Muzak. Eh, we gotta play our Muzak. I'll fix uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking in a moment. I won't be using it until later. I got some motions that I'm working on. I wanna know if you got the motion. Don't rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat. Oh, oh. Sorry, it's, I go that far back, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't want y'all rocking the boat, okay? Don't rock the boat. Don't tip it over. All right, ladies and gentlemen, while that should be playing in the background, hold on. Hold on. I think there is an issue. We'll see in a second. Nope. I can hear the music. I hear the music! All right. While that's playing in the background, for my entertainment purpose only, not yours, <laughs> your entertainment is not my concern. Um, I don't care about your entertainment. All right. Got my volume up. And we're going to go right there. Let that play in the background. Now, see, what I did, ladies and gentlemen, this is not mine. This is not mine. I done told y'all. If y'all looking for templates, y'all use the same ones the attorneys be using. Okay? Because they already know this. Okay? So you have to go on the internet and just type in template or sample, blah, 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 blah. And question mark. Or put it in quotations, but put a question mark at the end of it. So Google will know you asking a question. Okay? Google got to know you asking questions, okay? Y'all don't tell them they're asking questions. They're going to assume you already know, and you're going to get a lot of in your, in, your, in your box, okay? So you don't need to have no junk in your trunk when you go to Google. So you got to ask Google questions. So just ask them. Say, hey, Google. And Google will say, what? And you'll say, I need to know if you know where I can find a voluntary bankruptcy petition. Template. Sample. And Google will say, what the? And you're going to say, oh, I'm sorry. I was supposed to put in a shorter phrase. Um, voluntary bankruptcy petition sample. Question mark. And going to say, all right, give me a second. I found 855 billion suggestions. Here's the force 15. And you're going to say, thank you, Google. And Google will say, whatever. Okay, so you got to get Google's attention. Okay, this is your sample voluntary petition for non-individual filing for bankruptcy. That's what official form 201 is. I told you guys you can do the other process, but let's move this out. Well, we can move that out of the way by just doing where you at? Where you at? Where you, there you go right here. We just going to do that. There's 21 pages. Now, the other bankruptcy filing that you guys be doing, whoo, doggy, that junk is over 100 pages, 60 pages at the least. Okay, y'all don't need to be doing all that, and you put in the information. Now, this is a corporation that did this. Notice they put the address, they put the county, 
but they didn't put nothing over here and pay attention this is an actual filing y'all they didn't put a debtor's name what's going what the you know no case number because this is only a template and they do it as a corporation including limited liability corporations and limited liability partnership member partnership excluding LLPs okay voluntary petition for non-individual bankruptcy that's what you're gonna search and this is the name PC rebuilders and recyclers LLC knows what they put none of the above none of the above they didn't check any of that and left everything else the way it is they said they were filing for chapter 7 they needed protection and they said we're in prior bank nope they said nope and any bank nope and because the estate ain't filed no other bankruptcies y'all then it says why is the case filed in this district because the debtor has a domicile in the district mother okay and then it says why does the debtor uh, does the debtor own or have in the possession any other real property that needs immediate attention? You're going to say, um, yeah. And you're going to put your property address. People going through bankruptcy, going through foreclosures. Debtors estimated available funds. After any administration expenses are paid, no funds will be available to unsecured creditors. That's what you're going to check, just like they did. And number of estimated creditors, 1 to 49. And number of debt owed, 10 million to 50 million. Okay? Say, can't install updates. I ain't got no time for that. I don't care about you and your stupid updates. Now, let's go on now. And look at it. They just put the date. And they just put in, this the, This is called the electronic signature. You see that? The S in two lines? Electronic signature. And that's William Cade. Okay? Like, Wade. Dwayne Wade. This is William. His cousin. You know, that's why his name starts with a C, because his cousin. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hey, look, there's Chester. Foster. C-H-F-J. No, nah, that's not a good initial. C-F-J? No. C-J? Yeah, C-J works. What about F-J? F-J works. What about H-F? No, but what about F? No, anyway, we ain't going to do that. All right. June 18, 2017. Okay? And look at Put telephone number, email address, and bar number. Because it's done by attorney. I done told y'all. You're going to check out the ones that's done by attorney. Now, we're going to find some of these pages are blank. You know why they're blank? Let's uh, do this. Because these are the backsides. Okay? They be backsliding. You, you backsliding. All right. Now, notice what this page is. This page is corporate ownership statement. Okay? You're going to have to fill out one of those, so you need to get this phone. Corporate ownership statement. You need to get the phone. Look, rule 707, 7007.1. If not applicable, you check none. And then you go ahead and fill it out. Now, what you need to do, pay attention, because some of you don't pay attention. In order for you to do a non-voluntary bankruptcy filing, you're coming in as a non-individual. They say that non-individuals have to be represented by an attorney. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a power of attorney from the all caps name, entity, estate, or agency to yourself. Okay? You're going to get a power of attorney saying that you can represent the interests of this party. All right? And voluntary petition for bankruptcy. And you see? See, this is a different form. I didn't ask you for that. This is a different form. Okay? But take a look. Declaration and signature of authorized representative debtor. Okay? He filled it out, did what he's supposed to do, then backside of the page. They did double pages. I don't know why. Come on now. So actually, it's not even 14 pages, y'all. It's about seven. And here's the verification of creditors matrix. The above named debtor hereby verifies the list of creditors, true and correct to the best of their knowledge. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your filing of the involuntary bankruptcy. There are no schedules with this. There are no schedules with this. We got one case where the judge is asking the individual for schedules. There are no schedules with involuntary bankruptcy. At least not that I know of. You might want to check the rules. They might say yes, they are, but it's not a normal course of business.
All right, so this video is for you guys about the involuntary bankruptcy. Remember, I never told you I was going to walk you through this process or tell you how to do it. I just told you that this would be another means, a last resort of trying to save your home. Okay, that's all I told you. I didn't tell you anything else. So you can't call me and ask me for more information. I've already told you how to locate the form, how to find it. You just do a Google search. Voluntary petition for non-individual filing for bankruptcy sample. The same title right here. Okay. And you put a question mark at the end in Google after you put sample. There you go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to bring that information to your attention on the bankruptcy. That's all. Have a very good day. Keeping it simple. Keeping it sweet. Goodbye.